So there is also another principle in neuroscience called Hebbian learning, but it's actually the opposite. It says nerve cells that no longer fire together no longer wire together. And the universal law is you don't use it, you lose it. So then <coughs> I call this the science of changing your mind. And it's a very important slide for you to pay attention to. I call it throwing out the mental trash. So when we see people trying to make new connections in their brain, the biggest problem that they have is there's a lot of chatter going on when they first start out. So they sit down and they say, okay, what is it like to be happy or what is it like to be healthy or what is it like to be a leader? So they're going to fire this new thought. If you look at that blue neuron we just passed that's connecting to that body of, an, of a neuron, that blue neuron represents a new thought, like I'm a great leader or I'm healthy or I'm happy. So you close your eyes, you put your body away, you eliminate the environment, you retreat from your life, you forget about time, you fire this new thought that says, what would it be like to be a leader, to be happy, to be healthy? So as you fire this new thought and you start thinking about it, all of a sudden, you start to hear all this chatter in your brain. You're not a leader. You're too much like your father. You're a failure. You're never going to change. You know, look at all these things you did. You're never going to be healthy. Look at the pain in your back. The doctor told you this. Look at all the past problems you've had. Your life is a wreck. All of that chatter is the old circuits that have been firing and wiring all along behind the scenes of your awareness that you haven't been paying attention to. Now, all of a sudden, you become conscious of those unconscious thoughts. So as all this chatter is going on, you're trying to select one thought that you want to put your attention on. So as the chatter and the voices are going on trying to talk you out of greatness, we have this one component uh, as human beings called our will. And our will is connected to the spirit. And if we continue to persist, firing the same thought over and over again, silencing the other thought, sooner or later this becomes the loudest thought in your head. The moment this thought becomes the loudest thought in your head because it carries the greatest amplitude, the action potential is traveling from the presynaptic cleft to the postsynaptic cleft, and the circuit has to be sealed. But the neural growth factor travels in the opposite direction, from the postsynaptic cleft to the presynaptic cleft. So there's only a certain amount of neural growth factor to grow around. So as we're sealing the circuit of being a great leader, being healthy, being a, uh, a happy person, it starts to seal the glue from the other circuits. So there goes the thought you're never going to change. There goes the thought of the pain in your back. There goes the thought that you're too much like your parents. And you prune away the old circuits because the new circuit is taking the neural growth factor from it. This is called pruning in neuroscience. And this literally is the science of changing your mind. And people who make transformations, they all say the same thing. They say it was like that problem, that part of my life, that personality was completely another lifetime. I'm somebody else. I've been born again. Now think about this.